What's happening with California real estate? Well, that's what we're gonna dive into in today's video. We're gonna take a look at what's actually happening right now with the California real estate market here in Southern California. And we're also going to talk about what the California Association of Realtors forecast is for the 2022 housing market. Where do they see home sales going? Is it going up or down with the number of properties being sold? And what are we going to see with regards to the median home price? Before we dive into it though, I want to give you a quick reminder all real estate is local. So if you're watching this outside of my local area, your market might be responding a little bit differently than what we're seeing here in Southern California. And at the same time, this video isn't to tell you that you need to buy a house or that you need to be selling a house. It's really just there to provide you some guidance, you know, some clarity of what's actually happening in the housing market versus all the doom and gloom out there with regards to the media. My name is Jeb Smith. I'm a real estate broker for nearly 20 years. My channel's all about real estate, helping guide you through that process. So do me a favor as you're going through this, if you find any value in the content at all, hit that thumbs up, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions, where you're watching from I always appreciate the support since the beginning of 2021 we've seen a couple of different housing markets all within the same housing market now that probably seems crazy but what I mean by that is we started off the year you know crazy right it, we were coming out of 2020 which was one of the hottest markets we've seen on record and at the beginning of the year things were starting to move quicker than normal right normally right after the holidays things are slow kind of getting into that spring housing market this year things started off pretty quick and then we got into the spring housing market which is normally our crazy time and it went nuts like we've never seen a housing market quite as crazy as the one that we saw in the spring with multiple offers you know things selling way above the asking price very very low inventory and then things started to shift a little bit as we got into summer there was still a lot of buyer demand out there but we saw inventory start to pick up right we saw more and more homes come to the market buyer demand was there you know you saw multiple offers you saw home selling at or above the asking price in in a short period of time but not quite as crazy as it was in that springtime you know during the summer you might have five ten offers on a home whereas in the spring some of these properties that we put offers in on had 30 40 offers which is crazy so you know as we move through summer we thought that we were going to get your typical slowdown as you come into that fall winter market which is seasonality it, it's typical here of, of what of real estate in, in california which is you know we have that hot spring market it starts to slow down towards the end of summer because you know the kids are going back to school the parents are are doing their final vacations and, and once the kids get back in school things tend to slow down right you see less and less inventory come to the market but you also see buyer demand start to slow down a little bit and you see prices moderate typically this year what we've seen is a little bit different than that right we started off the year crazy it got even crazier and then the craziness subsided a little bit and we started to see you know a more normal market even though things were still selling quick and above the asking price but over the last three to four weeks what I've seen is the craziness is back not quite as nutty as the spring market but it is pretty close in in many ways and what I mean by that is we've seen inventory levels here locally go down about 25% in the last three to four weeks. Now, where I'm located here in Orange County, we have 3.3 million people here. And a couple of weeks ago, we got up to about 2,600 active homes on the market, which is not a lot of active inventory, not a lot of supply by any means, but it is quite a bit higher, about 25% higher than what we saw during that springtime when, when the inventory was super, super low, which we were carrying about 2,000 homes on the market at that time. We went up to 2,600 and over the last four weeks, we're back down to around that 2,000 number. And I've seen a similar response here in Huntington Beach where I'm located. You know, we had about 120 active homes on the market. Now that includes single families, townhomes, and condos. It's all property, luxury included, senior homes included in that. And we're a town of about 200,000 people. And we went from about 120 or so in the spring up to, you know, just over 170 here in the last couple of weeks. But as of today, we have 123 active homes on the market so we also have gone back the other direction now you might be asking why 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 are things changing what happened in the summer why did we see the, the you know the slowdown and now the pickup again it's hard to say exactly what happened but I believe a lot of people were out doing the vacation thing trying to really get in the last bit of summer since they had been locked in their homes for a period of time weren't really able to travel and, and so people were taking advantage of of the summer right getting out and about 
not really wanting to, to get caught up in the whole home buying process because it was a stressful one to begin with, so they were taking some time off. And now that they're back home, back in you know the house that they've been locked in for the last 18 months or so, they're starting to realize that they still want to purchase a home, which I believe got some people out there looking again, and we saw interest rates start to rise. And I think you got some people get scared that maybe interest rates were gonna to continue to move up, which meant their buying power was going to go down and people don't want to lose that buying power. So they wanted to jump back in the market. And what we've seen over the last couple of weeks is buyer demand is crazy again. Multiple offers on every property thing, selling above the asking price, even things that were sitting for a couple of weeks have moved up above the asking price in several different offers that I've, I've represented my buyers on and property selling in many cases above what I think it should be just based on comparables in that area. And those properties are getting multiple offers, many even higher than ours, waiving appraisals again, waiving contingencies. So we're really starting to see that craziness again. Now, what I've said over the last couple of weeks is that you're probably gonna see a slowdown as you move into the holidays. You're going to see less and less inventory come on the market. and. Part of that, I still believe. I, I still believe you're going to see less and less inventory come to the market, but I think you're probably gonna see the craziness continue because there's going to be less properties out there to choose from. I don't really think buyer demand's gonna go anywhere. So I believe if a good property comes to the market, it's priced right, you, chances are you're gonna have some competition. And you know, the market tends to slow down as we move closer to Thanksgiving and Christmas, and it's probably going to this year. But as a buyer, don't think that means a discount. It just means less properties to choose from and probably more competition when you do find one that you wanna write an offer on. So with that being said, what are we expecting for 2022? Because we're only a couple of months out from the end of the year, not much is going to change with regards to the housing market. Well, the California Association of Realtors is predicting a 5.2% increase in the median home price next year. So that's you know not, not as crazy as what we saw over the last year, right, which was a 20% jump here in the state of California. 5.2% is, is more reasonable. But that also means affordability is going to continue to be a problem. But at the same time, they're expecting the number of home sales to actually go down. So they're expecting less sales in 2022, but they're expecting the home price, the median home price to go up. Now, why would they expect less sales? Well, they're actually expecting interest rates to go up. They're expecting affordability to become more of an issue, which means less buyers out there but there is still going to be a lot of buyer demand and there's going to be less properties to choose from because inventories can't really go up, right? You've got a lot of buyers sitting, waiting to sell their houses, waiting on the right opportunity to buy another property, but they're not willing to put their home on the market until they find the right home. You got new construction, which really isn't going to be much of an impact here in, in the state of California. So at the end of the day, you're still going to have that demand supply imbalance that we've seen over the last you know, year, year and a half, it's just not going to be quite as crazy as it has been, you know, over the last 18 months, at least according to their survey. And at the same time, you have Goldman Sachs economists expecting another 16% in home price appreciation. And Zillow is predicting another 11.7%, so 12% in appreciation. So California Association of Realtors predicting 5.2% is actually on the low side. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in 2022. But what I can tell you is that until supply and demand start to balance, you're not going to see much change in the housing market. So if you're considering purchasing a property, what I would just tell you is to be patient, stick to your plan, don't get caught up in the FOMO of everything, don't overextend yourself. Um, those are important things to, to definitely abide by in this market. You know, it, it's it's an emotional process, but you can do it. it, you know, just stick to your plan. But if you're wondering, you know, you're watching this and you're wondering how do home prices continue to go up even with you know, buyer demand subsiding in many ways. Do me a favor, check out this video here. I explain it in more detail. But for now, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I appreciate all the support. Hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.